you're probably going to see a number of different things and, and it's going to change based on the time of year and how long we are post sugar. Um, we're doing a number of things with what we call our crop residual management program. When we made the announcement in January, we made the decision to only harvest for one year. Where, and in Hawaii, we grow sugar cane for two years. Um, so obviously half of the crop, crop that had been planted as late as December of last year, is actually still in the ground and growing. And so what we've done is we've come in and mulched a lot of that young cane, and so we've laid that vegetative material on the ground. And that's really to serve a couple of different purposes, but, but mainly for soil erosion, to, to minimize or limit the amount of soil that erodes based on water and wind. So unfortunately, it's not going to be lush and green, but it will you know, hopefully keep the dust down. That's going to tend to be a little more brown. Um, we are planting cover crops in a number of areas that are sensitive to wind erosion and, and rain erosion uh, along highways, along residential areas. So those areas will tend to be more green because they're actually planted crops specifically to, to hold down our erosion. And then of course we're working on expanding our diversified ag operations and so hopefully that will also promote a lot of you know, the very similar green lush uh, type surroundings that you see now with the sugar cane. Because it's a shutdown, there's a number of really complex financial issues that go into that like writing off assets and uh, taking care of reserves and liabilities and things. So it, it's, at this point it's difficult to say. Uh, we've really been on the ground operationally focused on getting the sugar crop in, you know, and that's really where it, where it starts. Um, it's, uh, we project it to be a bigger harvest than what we've done in the last two years, which is, is good. Uh, but there's still a number of things like costs and, you know, other financial impacts that we're still assessing.